All right, so now we're ready to talk about some of the open methods. So open methods and the one we're going to talk about first is called fixed point iteration. Fixed point iteration and um, A lot of the explanations that I've seen, I, I actually haven't found one that, that explains this graphically, and I think that's unfortunate because we lose sight of what's going on. Oftentimes, all we see is, is a simple equation to describe the fixed point iteration, and it certainly can be understood algebraically, but graphically, it's extremely useful to, to understand. I think it gives us a better idea of what's going on. And so, uh, normally, what we get is we say, well, okay, we're solving, uh, these are this is a root solving problem. So we're trying to find the roots of an equation. And so we have some equation f of x. So for example, let's let's use the equation f of x equals the sine of x. And we're trying to find the roots of that equation. And so when we find the roots of the equation, we can just say um, we just set the, the function equal to zero. So we say the sine of x equals zero and where that where that's true is going to be the roots. So we find where true. And so fixed point iteration says, okay, well, let's, let's come up with this other function, g of x. So we say uh, g of x is equal to uh, f of x And, and then what we do is we add x, so f of x uh, plus x. And then you say, and then you say x naught equals, or x1 equals g of x naught. And then you just keep going, x2 equals g of x1 and so forth and that finds the root of the equation but we have no idea how this we sort of lose sight of what's going on here so let's let's look at this graphically um, so starting out here with the, with an axis let's scroll down so we get a little bit of room uh, uh, starting out with an axis we get we can sort of draw a function. Uh, let me just uh, put in the axis first and then get sort of our function here. Nice little sinusoid and then um, to make this a sine function we need to put our other axis label here. And so this is the function that we are dealing with um, and remembering what, what this means graphically, sine of x equals zero. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is our function uh, f of x. So finding where the function f of x equals zero is finding these points right here where it crosses the axis. This point, this point, and so forth. We get the idea. So if we set uh, the function f of x equals to zero, that's what that's doing. Okay, well, um, if we look at this graphically, we can see that this is actually doing the same thing. And what that is, is we take the, and we draw a new line. So we draw the x equals one line on here. Okay, and then what we can do is uh, we f of x plus x, okay, well that is just, let's see, let's pick a color here, okay, so that's just the function, and it's a little tricky here to draw, but that's just the function rotated, and that is going to be f of x plus x and so 
finding where sine of x equals 0 uh, is actually equivalent to finding where sine of x uh, plus x equals x. And that's just adding x to both sides of the equation. Well, graphically we can see that that's equivalent to saying, well, the roots here are equal to the roots here on this on this line. And the problem with this is it's a little hard to draw. So I've plotted it out uh, so you can see that this is actually true. So that you can see, let's, let's center this up here, so that you can see that in fact uh, these points where this root is actually lines up with where the root is here and this root lines up here and so forth. Okay, so we can see that this is this is actually the same thing. Now let's actually go through an example so that we can see how this how this sort of goes forth. And to do that, let's zoom in here a little bit. All I'm doing is zooming in on the function, and we will start. So let's pick a starting point, say here. Okay, so this is our starting point. This is our initial our initial value for x. And so there we go, x naught. And then we just we project that up and we evaluate the function here. And we'll label this guy so we know this green function is g of x. And this magenta function here is f of x. Okay. And this line here, this red line, is the line um, y equals x. So that's what we have here. And all right, so evaluating, as I was saying here, evaluating the function at this point, okay, that's going to be, that is going to be our uh, g of x naught. And using g of x naught as x1 means that we travel over here along this over to the point and we use this as x1. Let me switch colors so we see where as we keep going. We use this as x1. So then we go up here, evaluate the function g of x at x1, and we see that that, so that is uh, g of x1, and then we use that over here, that value, for x2. And then we can keep going. We say, okay, starting at x2, we come up here, this is g of x2, and we come over and to the red line, and this is x3, and we can see that we are pretty much there. We have pretty much found the root if we do, if we do our um, g of x3, then we're basically there. So that's fixed point iteration, and this is how you iterate and find the root. So what we're basically doing is following this line, we go from our x naught, sort of up and over, and then back up over to this one, and then back over to this one, and this is sort of how we converge on the root. Now depending on how this graph looks, we may not always stay on the same side of this red y equals x line, we could we could switch around different sides of it. But in either case, this is how we can go up and converge on the root.